So how do you create epic, epic content as a health and fitness professional? Well, I'm going to show you my five-step epic framework in this video. Hey guys, Uriel Kim here. Welcome to HPTV, Healthpreneur TV, helping you, the health and fitness expert, turn your expertise into a thriving online business that makes more impact, income, and freedom. And together, we can help millions of people around the world transform their lives. And that's what we're doing this for, right? This is what it's all about. Okay, so today, um, you know, you might be thinking to yourself, well, how do I really grow my business? And how do I stand out in this credit marketplace? And, 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 and do I even have a voice? Like, why, why, why does somebody want to hear from me? When they've read all these other diets and learned from all these other experts, I'm, I'm nothing special. I, I don't have any, anything unique. Well, I want to stop you right there and I'm going to turn that little negative voice off in your head because here's the thing. And I, and I firmly believe this. Every single one of us has a book inside of us, right? You have a unique story, perspective, experience, education that nobody else has, right? So let me give you an example from my life. So when I was 17, uh, actually before that, I kind of grew up with a lot of health issues, digestive issues, eczema, asthma, really low energy. And when I was 17, I lost all of my hair in the space of two months to an autoimmune condition called alopecia. That's why I've got no hair. Now, why did all that happen? Well, basically I was eating garbage for most of my life up until that point. So my body said, hey, you know, wake up. Okay, so I did. And then I kind of figured things out a little bit. So long story short, that was part of my story. I was also able to pursue a career in professional soccer, which I did for a number of years. I also had an educational background in kinesiology and holistic nutrition. And so what ended up happening is I started to piece all these different things together, which are very unique to me. Then I was able to work as a strength and conditioning coach at one of the top universities in the world for seven years with men's, with the men's soccer program. So again, a very unique perspective and opportunity to work with athletes, work with them, take my learnings, bring them back to the everyday person. So what I'm trying to say here is that you have a unique journey, just like I have a unique journey, that allows you to position yourself in a way that nobody else can, right? I don't know anyone else who has alopecia, who played pro soccer, who worked as a strength coach, who's a New York Times bestselling author and has helped half a million people over the past 10 years, right? So again, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Now, what I'm saying here is that you want to use your whatever it is to your advantage, your health issues, your health journey. And what I love about this space, about being a health and fitness educator, is that we guarantee, and I'm sure you're in this position too, we all have come into this space because we've all dealt with our own health issues. And that's really awesome because we're all in this to really do good on this planet. And that's, that's why I love helping people like yourself because you deserve to get your message out to more people, okay? So understand that you have a gift that people need to hear about and you not sharing that gift is actually selfish because there might be one person or maybe a thousand or a million people who need to hear it from you. Maybe it's the same thing that we're talking about, but your perspective and voice is what they need to hear. Maybe they're not going to resonate with me. Maybe they're going to resonate with you. Okay. So don't be selfish. Use the epic content framework. Okay. So why should we use content? Well, content, as I talked about in a previous video, is the new future, is the future of online business. If you're not producing content, how are you supposed to add value to your marketplace? How are you supposed to teach your audience what they need to know? How are you supposed to build a relationship with them so they can do business with you? Well, content is the key. All right. So I'm going to walk you through my five step epic framework here. And yes, this is the way we spell epic in Canada, just in case you're wondering. No, I'm, I'm serious. We don't actually spell it like that. Don't worry. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through, this is an acronym, what it stands for and how you want to apply it. And this applies to video, written content, audio, any means of communication. It doesn't really matter. Okay. But this in today's day and age needs to be applied because otherwise it's just going to be another piece of content that gets brushed under the table. Okay. You really need to stand out with really, really good stuff. So let's look at this. The E stands for educational and entertaining. Now, I don't think my videos are boring. They're highly educational. They're also not super comedic, right? I'm not gonna like crack jokes and go all Louis CK here, but I'm also not reading anything off a teleprompter and I'm off the cuff. I've actually done videos where I had my nose running 
midway through the video. And that's, I mean, pseudo entertaining. So that's me. It doesn't have to be you. You don't have to do things that are just outrageous. Be yourself, but don't be boring. Don't be like, today we're going to talk about how to lose weight. That's not, if that's you, just focus on the writing. Okay. So the entertaining perspective is more if you're on the audio side or on the video side. It's, unless you're an amazing writer, it's a little bit more challenging to be entertaining in your writing. But that's, that's cool. If you can do that, amazing. But you want to be educational, right? Educational, like, that's why people go to YouTube. That's why people watch and read things to learn. They want solutions to their problems. So educate them. And that's, that's important. The P is massively important. And that's proof. If you're writing stuff and you're saying, well, you know, a lot of studies show that uh, women who uh, restrict carbohydrate consumption depress their thyroid function. Okay, that's a great statement. Where's the proof, right? Back that up with scientific research. If you're saying stuff, if you're making claims, show validation for that. And what that does is it makes the reader believe you, okay? <laughs> because otherwise you're just making claims and there's no substance behind that. So it's very important to back that stuff up with, you know, scientific research from like PubMed, Google Scholar. There's, you know, some really good places to find that stuff. Okay. So proof is massively important. No matter what it is, find some stats, find some, you know, reputable organizations who've done some research or peer, re peer review journals and support your claims with that stuff. I is for insightful. And I've talked about this before. People are going to come to you because of your insights and perspectives and experience, right? That's all part of you. That's all part of your uniqueness. You want to use your difference to make a difference, right? The I is going to help you do that. You have a specific insight. So for instance, let me give you, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So I don't believe that working out harder is a smart idea. Now, why is that? Well, that's, that's a statement that a lot of people share. But let me share my insight with you. As a former pro soccer player, I noticed that most pro athletes don't last beyond 35. Now, why is that? Well, because their body simply breaks down from all the wear and tear of years of high intensity training, high frequency, high volume, the body can't handle that. Okay? That is an insight from my personal experience. Now, if somebody else were to say that, unless they have the personal experience, they're most likely not going to have the same level of credibility, or maybe they wouldn't even have that insight because they didn't even think of it, think of it because they didn't experience it. So this goes back to you and your experience and your perspective and your journey throughout life. Again, even if you're telling people to do the same thing as a thousand other people are, your insight is massively needed. Boom. The C stands for it needs to be clear and you should have a call to action. So for instance, if you enjoy this video and you want to learn how to make content marketing a bigger piece of your online business, uh, by the way, you absolutely should. Otherwise, you are going to be left in the dust. Then I strongly recommend you click on the link on this video or just below to download my free content marketing launch pad. It's a two page worksheet and it's going to help you get super clear on who you want to help and how to develop content specifically for them and get your content machine off the ground. So that's an example of a call to action. Every single piece of content you put out there, whether it's video, audio, written, should have some next course of action. What do you want them to do? Subscribe? Yes, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Do you want people to share this video? I would love if you shared this video. Just click on the thumbs up button or share it on Facebook, right? So these are examples of calls to action. Going back to the clarity thing, right? The clear, be clear. Don't be like, don't ramble on forever. And I've made this mistake in the past and sometimes even to today, I will just go off on verbal diarrhea tangents. So take a bit of time to structure your thinking and be very clear with your messaging. Okay. It's going to really help out your audience. Otherwise you're just going to confuse them and they're going to be like, Oh my God. Okay. Now the K again for Canada. I'm from Canada and that's how we spell Canada with a K just in case you don't know. But it also stands for, I hope, I hope you know I'm joking, right? I can actually spell Canada. Anyways, the K stands for Kool-Aid. Drink the Kool-Aid. That's what you want people to do. You want people to drink your Kool-Aid. What's your Kool-Aid? Your Kool-Aid is, is this. This is the Kool-Aid. Your Kool-Aid is your opinions, your voice, the way you can you hold yourself, your charisma. Um, either you swear or don't swear, whatever your position on certain things, what you stand for, what you stand against, your beliefs, your core values, your vision, your mission. 
right? That's the Kool-Aid. You want people to buy in to who you are and what you're talking about. The more they drink the Kool-Aid, the more they're going to be by your side, okay? This is massively important. And even though it's a misspelling of the word epic, I had to throw it in there because if you just put content out there without providing a stance or position in the marketplace, then you're really no different from anybody else, okay? I'm not here, let's just talk about healthpreneur as an example, right? So I'm helping health and fitness professionals, health coaches, naturopathic doctors, personal trainers, turn their expertise into a thriving online business to make more impact, income, and freedom. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that you should set up some gimmicky sales nonsense to make a couple bucks or you know become an affiliate and promote random stuff. That's not what this is all about. This healthpreneur thing, we are on a mission to help a billion people. Sorry, I just had a fly fly by me here. How's this flying here? We're on a mission. We're on a mission to help a billion people by 2040 collectively around the planet. And I can't do that alone. That's why Healthpreneur is in place to help you and all sorts of other health and fitness experts build your platforms, your presence, so that collectively we can impact more people. And the only way we can do that is by being decent human beings providing great value and content to our audiences, building a relationship with them, and eventually having them do business with us, right? I also believe, right? See how, see what we're doing here with the Kool-Aid? I also believe that making money is very good. The more money you make, the more impact you can have. Whether that's investing in schools in Africa or in your local, local area, or maybe it's employing people to work for you, or maybe it's reinvesting in your business to develop more amazing things, you can't do that if you're in the negatives. So being profitable and making money is good. It's the, it's the like number one priority in business pretty much. If you're not doing that, you should not be in business. And that's why most businesses, 95% of them, go bankrupt after five years. So I've just shared a couple things in terms of my positioning, aka my cool, my flavor of Kool-Aid. And if you jive with that, that's cool. If you don't jive with that, that's cool as well. So that's the five step epic framework for developing great content that's really gonna stand above everything else, get people to share it, talk about it, and help you become the leader in your niche. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, I'll just give you this little call to action, right? So as I talked about earlier, if you like the free content marketing launch pad, which is gonna help you take your ideas, put them into video, audio, paper, whatever, written written word, and get it off into the marketplace in a way that actually serves you and your business as well as those you wanna serve, then I invite you to download that bad boy at the link on this video or just below, and um, you're gonna love it. It's gonna make a huge difference. A two-page worksheet, it's gonna help you really clarify your thinking and help you create amazing content for those you wanna serve. Now, in the meantime, I wanna thank you so much for joining me on HPTV. I'm Uriel Kane. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And I look forward to seeing you in our next one.